Episode number five, Boston Bear Blast. Deep within the bowels of a proper Bostonian hotel, uh, a phone rings with some um, great authority in the dark. Ring? Ring. Ah, oh, I rose from my sleep, I grabbed the phone and lifted it to my ear. Hello? Ring. Ring. I placed the phone down and lifted the receiver to my ear. Hello? <laughs> uh, hello, is this Philadelphia, Secret Agent 86? Yes. Oh, is, is that you, Kay? This is me, Phil. Kay. This is Phil, Kay, me. What's up? An adjective, uh, meaning two, or at any point that is considered higher. But that's not why I call. Then what? What is a pronoun? Stop asking questions, Phil. <laughs> a crisis is afoot. I thought a crisis was an impending disaster. Delphia! <laughs> Philip, listen carefully. I have news so incredible, so fantastic that... Philip, there is no beer in the con suite. Oh. Philip? Uh, Philip? Oh. Yo, Bill! Oh. Sorry, sir. I, I think I fainted. I, I could have sworn you said there was no beer in the con suite. I did, Philip. No beer in the con suite. No beer at the bid parties. No beer in the hotel bar. Sounds like one hell of a party, sir. No, Philip, no. None of the containers of beer were opened. Every bottle, every can is still sealed, but empty. Incredible. Any clues? Only that each container has two tiny puncture marks on the side, <laughs> almost as if they had been bitten. An icy blast of wind blew open the shutters of my window, admitting the cold blue moonlight. In the distance, a wolf began to howl. Oh! You're talking like it's a vampire, sir. That's right, Philip. A beer-drinking vampire. <laughs> Philadelphia, Secret Agent 86. Oh, shit. Your mission, if you should decide to accept it, like the hell, Charlie. is to track down this foul, fermented fiend, and thus save fandom from a paid person test. Yeah, sobriety. <laughs> Good luck, Phil. And, um, um, don't call me. I'll call you. I placed the receiver on the phone and reached deep inside my pajamas. Ah, there it was. Hard as a rock. And twice as cold, my last can of beer. <laughs> and it was still full, so probably then what I held in the palm of my sweaty hand was the very last beer in the entire hotel. In the distance, I heard a wolf begin to howl again. <laughs> he said wolves. Ah. <laughs> Out in the hallway, I suddenly heard footsteps coming towards my door. They came nearer and nearer. I pulled up my magnum and leaped behind my bed. The footsteps came nearer and nearer. We will return in a minute with the fantastic adventures of Phil Adelphia right after this important announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, early this a.m., the CIA became peeled the above the FBI when they ID a UFO high above L.A. Washington, D.C., HQNG, the TNT, ICBM, but OK, an LSD warhead, SAM, and effort to OD the UFO. We will have more information on this for you later. This was just the initial report. <laughs> And we now return you with all possible speed to Boston Bear Blast. And closer, and closer, and further, and further away. Oh, well, I quickly press and dash for the elevator. My first stop, the con suite. I hit the call button, and seconds later, the elevator doors opened and out rolled a dense London fog. I coolly stepped inside, and a graveyard wind slammed the door shut behind me. I hit seven, which is between eight and six, and from under the elevator, I heard the long, drawn-out howl of a timber wolf. <laughs> These things are everywhere. <laughs> I casually straightened my tie in the security mirror and calmly wondered where could that vampire be? I'm right here, Phil. The security mirror told me the elevator was empty, but when I spun around, I found myself eye to eye with the draft demon himself. Uh, herself. It was a she, an incredibly beautiful vampire in a tight white dress that could hold no secrets and long blonde hair that could hold no tails. My name is Tariana, Phil. Tariana Phil, eh? Strange name for a vampire. How many vampires do you know, Phil? Ooh, touche. And I believe you have something that I want. Her bright red lips parted in a deadly smile that exposed every inch of her long white fang. So let me have it! I could never refuse a lady. So I let her have it! With all the speed at my command, I pulled up my stainless steel hog leg and let her have five thundering rounds right in the chest! Boom! 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 <laughs> Which slid through her body and blew out the back of the elevator. <laughs> Diplomacy. Was it too late for diplomacy? <laughs> you have to do better than that, Phil. I'm open to suggestions. Now give me that beer. Give my last beer to the likes of you? Never. Then I'll take it from your cooling corpse. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Slowly, she came towards me. I backed up until I was flat against the elevator doors. Her hands reached out to my throat, and I was just about to think of something clever when the elevator binged and the doors opened, spilling me out into the hallway, making me drop my gun, my wits, and the beer. I watched in stunned horror as it rolled across the floor, right through an open door into the middle of... The con suite. <laughs> the can of beer lay in plain sight in the con suite for one full second, and every fan in the room dove upon it in a mad fight to the death. Above me, there was a flash of white as Perianna joined that thirsty free-for-all. I scrambled to my feet and rushed to the edge of the melee. There were feet and fists, cursing and cussing, screams of rage and delight. Boy, it was great. Then <laughs> like some hell-spawn Venus arising from the sea, Periana came free from that wriggling mass of humanity, triumphantly holding a can in her hands as she bit deeply into it. Then she dropped the can and screamed like a fan seeing his hotel bell. Uh, hey, that wasn't a beer. That was a... Ah, uh, 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 that cola! I Line's copyrighted. Ah, I metamorphosing into a liquid. I metamorphosing into a liquid. Oh, that's great. Ah. continued doing her James Arness is a thing impersonation, and with a bubble and a hiss and a squish, she dissolved into a puddle on the floor that was probably going to be hell to clean. <laughs> ring, uh, ring. I picked up the phone. Come, sweet. Philip, you you did it. Sandon is certainly. Proud of you this day. Why, thank you, sir. You should receive a reward for this. By God, I'll see to it that you do receive a reward. Free registration to all future conventions. Ooh. Unlimited beer on credit. Neat. A Hugo, a Nebula, an Academy Award, a Tony, the Nobel Peace Prize, and the official James Bond seal of approval. Wow. Impressed? No, I volunteered for this. So be sure to tune in again for more exciting adventures of Bell A. Delphia, Secret Agent 86. In episode number six, Fighting the Big Apple. Tonight's presentation was brought to you by the Philly and 86 Beef Committee, written by this guy. Tonight's cast was narrator Scott Benson, K. Scott Benson, Philadelphia Nick Smith, Barry Ina, Sue Johnson, Dil Folio Incidental Sound Effects, and guest starring Abdul Beni Hassan as the adjective meaning to or at any point of this concern higher. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the end!